going to try the shadow, the color Spark. Let's see how we do. I haven't tried this one before. I went swimming this morning and I can see in my eyes, you know, the, the goggles. Not great for the circulation of your eyes, but great for your sanity. Also, I find it so interesting that it gets me tan, even though it's completely cloudy, like dense grey clouds. Just being outside, you still get the rays of the sun when you're swimming. And I go at 8 in the morning where there's not even much light. So I'm not really gonna go anywhere today, I'm just gonna work at home, but you know, just for myself, I want to look presentable. I have to go to the dry cleaners. That's as eventful <laughs> as it's gonna get, I think. I've already been working this morning. I had some Zoom call. Then I did yoga. Now it's lunchtime. And now it's going to be time to do music very soon. I was working on the jewelry concepts earlier. These are actually mine. I'm wearing one of my samples. So this is the color Spark and it's a brown, metallic brown color. Very pretty warm pinkish brown I like it, it's my favorite kind of brown and this shadow is actually coming quite a few shades that look very similar like there's more goldy ones I just chose the one that looked darker because I always like to have a darkish you know my eyes look better in darker shades in general so when I need something fast, foolproof, that's just gonna make me look good, I will usually go for a mid-tone brown like this, towards the dark end of the spectrum. And I can go quite in with my makeup because my eyes are so wide apart, I look like an alien, so I can literally go into my corner here and it looks fine. If you don't have freakishly apart eyes, then maybe not. It almost looks purplish. I hope it's coming across. Oh dear, I wonder if it is the swimming that's giving me this ocular trauma. The key moment is when I put it on because then you can really see the payoff. And I'm taking the tiniest amount. I mean, it's full, full coverage of color.
the one thing I would say is you have to take your time with this not because they're difficult or bad in any way they're just the format the metal tube you have to go so slow so that it doesn't pour out and that's just the nature of these metal tubes which a lot of companies use and I'm not against them but it's just it takes so much more time than just a pot that you can immediately serve yourself from all right that's gonna be complicated my that, that outer part It is always kind of tricky to try to shape anything with your fingers. Um, I'll do my best to bend, blend it like that, but then I will also use uh, more foundation, I think. Alright, I think that's... Um, I mean, it's a bit messy, but it's cool. So... Lips, 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 lips. It's gonna be so basic. I just want some lip liner and some clear gloss. Clear gloss is one of those things that you never thought you'd go back to since you were 14 and yet I find it's really cool right now. You know something I've been thinking lately which I will go into one day when we do the brows the way that you feel the contours of your face is not exactly the way they look because i've always had this thing where i feel my lips my lip line way more <laughs> out than you can see it but it's just i feel the shape there so it's i have to line it there because otherwise it just feels so strange to feel that the product is going like inside of your lip same with my, my brows when I do my brows my bone is here so I kind of want to put the color here but no I have to put it here which feels like my forehead it's just weird you know things that I haven't really considered before how it looks versus where things feel So lately I am doing my brows, you know, here to open the face a little bit more. And this feels like my temple. Like that's my, that is my temple. My brow bone is actually way down here. Like this is my brow bone here. The ocular, I don't know what you call it, but the bone is right there. That's like the highest point of the bone. Imagine if I were to draw the brow there, it would be a disaster. All right, so much better. See, lip liner makes the biggest difference. And now some lip gloss. I've just been into having my lips hydrated, basically. So this is some clear lip gloss from Cosas, the one called Wet. And the lip liner that I used, in case you didn't see it, it was RMS. Okay. I'm not gonna curl my lashes today. I'm also not gonna put my contact lenses on. I'm just gonna use my glasses, because I'm gonna be in front of the computer. And I don't really care. Let my eyes rest, you know? I hope I'm on camera, oh no. I 
Wow, that's a lot of lashes. I've been using Talika again. I think it works. I mean, it's a conditioner. It's not gonna do anything major, but it does make your lashes that you don't really need to curl them and they look fine. I really like this shadow. The color, I mean. And the shadow too, it's a great formula. I just, I do wish the packaging was different. With that packaging, it takes you 30 minutes to do your eyes. Oh my god, did I tell you? I think I put it on Instagram one day. I went to the dry cleaners and just beforehand I had done my makeup because I was going to go out that night. So I went past the dry cleaners to pick up my dress for the night. And I had just done my makeup. So you know when you've just done your makeup and you haven't quite said it, you've just you've done it. And then you have to do the final kind of clean up. Because I always have to do a clean up because my mascara runs everywhere. And I got out of the house and it was a bit, not even raining, but it was a bit humid and there was, you know, it was cold, there was air. And with the wind in this country, my eyes just tear up so hard. Every time I step out of the house, if there's any wind cold, I just, my eyes tear up. And it doesn't bother me anymore, but it's just, it makes my makeup really run. And I get to the dry cleaner guy and the dry cleaner guy looks at me like, is it raining outside? And I'm like, no, it's all right. And then he's like, did someone upset you? And I'm like, no, why? Am I crying? And he's like, yeah, your makeup looks beautiful, <laughs> but you're crying. And I was like, oh my God. Poor guy, did someone upset you? That's so cute. I'm just giving our giving ourselves a few moments for the makeup to completely run and now I'm gonna fix it with a little bit more foundation. Tiniest, I mean you can see the amount of products that I place on my face is so tiny. So I just wanna clean this up in both sides and then put some powder on and then you'll see how beautiful this looks RMS powder I've just washed my hair so it's still in that state of looking a bit weird but I will take it out anyway okay. and now brush oh so delicate so beautiful This is gonna be the money shot, the screenshot thumbnail. We are done! However, this is how I'm actually gonna look today. <gasps> but not yet. We are pretending I have 10-10 vision for the moment. This is my freshly dried freshly washed freshly dried hair as you know i don't use heat on my hair i still don't use heat on my head on my hair or on my head <laughs> do you remember when i stopped using heat i don't know if you remember but i stopped using hair dryers everything i don't even know what the tools are called anymore the ghd thing i stopped using that 
and my hair looks the best it's ever looked and it doesn't freeze it doesn't really even curl that much it's really great see it's shiny just cold water and and letting it be